Hi guys, how you doing Englishman here? Today's tour is Baker Street. A bit further down was the first baker, well it's the second baker really, because the first was over in Burgu when the knights came. But there was a massive bakery down there. We're going to explore that, we're going to explore the street, Bakery Street. It runs right down to the sea. Uh, this is a bit of a question behind us. It's Cavalier Tower. Gary said to me, you know, we did that Hastings uh, Garden, and this was one of the two towers that are either side of the, of the... It's really, it's a fortress, Valletta. It was the shape of the fortress, because there's walls all the way around. So I can give you a bit of history of it here. It's uh, one of the two towers was built in the 16th century, defending both sides of the main entrance of Valletta, and it was used as by the British military forces, 19th century, and since 1967 it hosts Embassy of the Order of St. John. So it's the Order of St. John now. It's one of the two towers. The other tower is over there. Hastings Gardens at the back. This is Bakery Street. We're going to go down. A uh, lot of interesting things on the way. Lots of nice restaurants. You can see, look, it goes all the way down to the sea. It's a long way and we're going to go... We're going to go right down the very bottom there. Lots of things to see. On the, look at these uh, statues on the top. Lots of restaurants, lots of pubs, and architecture. There it is, look. Till if Fran. Ah, that's uh, old bakery street. This is my island in the sun. I didn't know that was in Mortis. Il Fran. Okay, let's walk down. I don't know who's saying sorry. Nothing to do with me. Tell him. Somebody was saying sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's the first one. It's the anniversary, 1943. Another restaurant on the side. Very nice restaurant here, Queen Victoria. And I've heard that it makes a nice breakfast. So it might be on the list, guys. There's a small uh, restaurant here. There's plenty of eateries all around the letter. Eat in or take away. I don't know, the old bakery this one's called. So this is uh, South Street. Runs all the way up to Valletta there. Quite a long stretch here, look. All the way down to the sea. You can see the sea at the bottom. This is the Church of Scotland. I'll show you a little bit of it. It was called the Church of Scotland, but it's got, uh, got another name, I think. Let's go and have a quick look. St. Andrew's Scots Church. It's a church of Scotland and Methodists. We're going to be crisscrossing anyway, all the way down. And I'm going to try and find this uh, bakery, because I did a bit of research of it. Are we, are we recording? Yes, we are. <laughs> he's a, that's a, a YouTuber. He doesn't make enough, but he's got many, many, uh, many, many subscribers. I really love to watch his uh, offbeat humor. He doesn't care less about subscribers or what he says or what he does. I think that's the way the video is going to go. I think you just got to relax, have fun. Plenty of blooming stairs, though. So a few churches on the way. Anyway, Gary, are you happy? It's the home of the Order of the Knights of St. John uh, Cavalier Tower, and there's two of them, either side of the, the entrance of the letter. Used to be a road over that entrance in the old days, and has been changed many times by the British shoe. <laughs> Shall I walk on the bleeding? <laughs> <laughs> These stairs, how, how long they are. Somebody told me, Steve, because I said, These blooming stairs are so long. He said, Steve, they were made for that. So the knights could clamber up them. Can you imagine walking on uh, with armory? Look into the camera, Steve. How can I? I'm going to blooming go. Oh, oh. Anyway. No parking here, guys. Impossible. Hey, let's walk down the street. There's more of those blooming stairs. There's the tower, anyway. And let's see if we can find this, uh, this building. 
I lost a bit of paper because I did a little. I did a few notes. Old Bakery Street. Yeah, maybe this is it. It was changed into Brock style. It was an old bakery way back. We're on the hunt. I think this was it. It was changed into Brock style. Oh, sorry. Sorry. What a courteous Maltese driver. <laughs> Oh, I didn't at Helwa. There's an office there of them. So I think this was the one, the, the bakery in the old days. It was changed there, Baroque, but that's not really Baroque style. Let's have a quick look. It's a bakery house housing a number of bakeries in the 16th century. After 1845, the bakery moved to Burgu, where the uh, forces and then re demolished and now it's Vincent Buildings. So is this Vincent Buildings? This is where the bakery start. Obviously because it's Bakery Street. Nana's Bar. Let's see if this is Vincent Street. Wow, I'm in the way there. <laughs> I don't know. Could be, might not be. There's no sign of it Vincent Street. Vincent building. Oh yeah, I think this is it. Unicabs. So this is the, the old bakery that it used to be in the old days. As I said, I'm going to put the things below. 16th century after the 1845, the bakery moved to Burgo. Okay, let's keep going. Let's have a look at some old work without dying. Next one on the list. Now oh, you can go down to the ferry this way. So we saw there has St Andrews, we went past Vincent Building, which is that one there. It's not really Baroque style, as I would call it. But it's interesting all the same. Uh, it was a Fond de la Signora in the old days. Anyway, let's keep going. San Mark, let's pull my mask up because I don't want to find the last few days. San Mark, seems busy because they're coming up. I like to look up above though, guys. Look at the architecture on the top there. So this was Vincent building, I guess. I guess it's a very big building. Mm. We got stopped. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. I was going the other way. San Mark. I don't give a damn. I don't stop for English, man. Anyway, city centre, we're going this way. Let's, uh, let's cross over. Some more old buildings here, guys. Ah, oh, what was this church now? There was a nice church coming up. St. Augustine, I think this is it. Foundation stone laid in 1571 and rebuilt in 1765. Yeah, I think this is the one I got told off at once. St. Augustine. Yeah, if I remember rightly. Hey, it's a bit plain. Sorry for the crunching, 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 but this is Baker Street Tour. And not a loaf of bread in sight. Steve, where did you go today? Oh, I went down Bakery Street. Oh, you got some bread? No. <laughs> That's it. Very plain. Very old. It was rebuilt. I'm sure it's in good, because that's about the only church down here. Yeah, I think, oh, yeah, I think it is, because it's in Latin. That's an... This is Canisius Santu Wiston. A 
not sure, guys. Beautiful, though. Some of it nice architecture. Let's have a quick shofty. It's an interesting tour, though. Wonder if it means the same St. Augustine Church as St. St. Wiston. Oscatina. Oh yeah, probably it's the same one. So that's the one, guys. Just in Latin. Ah, oh, there's a there's a thing here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it makes life a bit easier. If you can read it. Ah, St. Augustine. Uh, 1571. Yeah, you can read it, guys, if you can see it. Let me just clean it off. It's plain by Morti's architecture, Giuseppe Bonici. Yeah, it was a plain, or it's very plain, eh? I've seen better churches. Inside is quite, uh, quite nice, though. St. Augustine. I was just getting mixed up with the Latin. I was, had the day off at school when they did Latin. Why aren't you doing Latin today, Englishman? Oh, I've got a bad tummy. <laughs> My mum caught on a bit because I used to forge a signature when I don't want to do certain things. This street is covered with lawyers. So if you want a lawyer, a barrister, uh, anything like that, they're all down here. They've all got these offices. They're all... Uh, all for everything to do with the law. There, look, so advocates associates this is a nice one look at this guys um, i'm getting used to these road ones because i know uh, i missed off on the last one a few of the architecture this is nice though. look at this one the old plaque here 1916 it's quite high i went in that church uh was ages years ago and I stood in the, uh, in the entrance. They must have been doing something special. <laughs> and I stood in the entrance like this with the, with the blessed camera. And there was somebody behind me and this guy coming. Would you mind terribly moving on one side? Because <laughs> I got lost doing the video and got lost videoing. And there was people waiting to come past. And I blocked the whole entrance. But you can see a lot of architecture. This is a really old part of the letter. Look at these old uh, shop fronts and the uh, architecture. Even above the uh, Galleria, look at the lovely work. I'll cross over in a bit, guys. Statues, look, on the very top. Sadly, there's not a lot of history about this street. Only about Baker Street having that bakery. And... Uh, there wasn't a lot more things about it. But mostly these uh, road city tours, I'm gonna call them, it's just to walk and absorb and get into the local. Ooh. I wanna show you everything if we can, of the different shop fronts, the different design, that's m more like modernist. How about the different types of uh, architecture that went on the letter? Baroque, modernist, and then just built by the knights. There's a statue up there, look. This must mean something, this uh, building. Oh, look at this. This was the old fashioned Maltese signs. Closed on Tuesdays, open other nights. That's a bar, I think, eh? What's it there? Our multiple courses, tasting menu offers a cross selection of traditional Maltese and other special dishes. 30 pounds a person. 30 euros a person, that's uh, not cheap, eh? Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, look at this one. Now, this is a traditional shop front, eh? Francis de Gata. Yeah, this is it. This is really traditional. House of fashion. Look at that building, guys. Very plain, but a, a lovely big shop front. 179 Baker Street. 
Hey, how do we get through here, guys? Advocates, solicitors, notary. This is a restaurant, I think, here. Yeah. Confessionary. That's an old shop from that confessionary. Oh, look at this one here, guys. This is unusual. Hey, I've never seen this before. The design of this. This is not Baroque style. What style's out, guys? Can you tell me? Look, even the gallery, uh, the shutters, they're, they're oval. I'm going to spend more time with this video showing you the unusual shop fronts, because this is really old Baker Street. This is going way back in, uh, in the night's time. I'm not sure how far they had built it down, but the top end was the bakery up there. And then it moved. Obviously, it was built up. Well, this is a very, is this the, uh, something to do with the courts here? Look at this, guys. The rock court. Oh, that was a very old fashioned uh, many years ago. Oh, Sphinx is everywhere. I might stay for a pastizzi. I'm a bit peckish. Let's stay here for a minute, guys. We'll have a break. See what they got. This is a, a road one and uh, I have a to name Bazelli, please. We'll have a minute. It's hard now. Stay here, guys. It's hard now. That's it. What a 40. Thank you, man. Yo. Martin. English. English. Hey, look, you want to be on video? This is Sphinx. I do Sphinx as well. I do. Uh, I'm English man in Malta. English man in Malta. Yeah, on YouTube. Really? I've on got YouTube. many. Many, 300 videos. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be, what's your name? My name is Tristan. Tristan, okay. Nice Have a look. Video. This is going to be a, a video of Baker Street. I'm walking Baker Street right down to the city. Yeah, I do a lot of videos of Valletta talking about the history and yeah, the architecture yeah, yeah. and things like that. I've got quite a few, about 9,000. Yeah, yeah. there's, there's many people, yeah. No, I've got about 9,000 subscribers now. Yeah, 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 good. I'm going to eat some pastizzi, I think, because I'm starving. I can take my mask off, I think. Like, yeah. Busy here though? It's not that busy at the moment, no. Actually, you know, the pandemic, you know. Oh, tell me about it. This bloody mask. Yeah. <laughs> Drive me crazy. Let's have something to eat for a minute. Thank you, man. Huh? Let's try Sphinx past this day, but I had before. You I had, had it, uh, yeah, I had it. Uh, where did the one I have? Some or, uh... No, Zabuch is one there. Zabuch, yeah. yeah. My uncle. Oh, okay. He, he's on video, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Bazelli, guys. Mmm, very nice. How is it? Tastes good. Tastes good. I've been here a long time now. Really? Not before you were born. <laughs> 1977. From 1977? Yeah, but we went back home then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got married in 79. In England? Uh -huh. We're having a water break, guys. Let's put it like this. It's from Sphinx. They're all over motor Sphinx. They're nice because they're not too uh, oily as well. Mm. I'm in the shade a bit, guys. <laughs> so this is a, a road tour and an eating one. Oh, look at this place. I'm going to show you a few more places. Steve, clean your mouth. Oh, sorry about that. I had one comment about that. <laughs> you can comment what you want, no problem. Hmm. Nice try, huh? Ooh. Let's keep going, guys. Very nice. <coughs> this is Baker Street, but it's bloody hot, guys. It's about 40. But in the shade, eh? Doing all right. Let's go, guys. Gonna keep going down. 
Okay, you guys, all finished. Thank you to this guy. Thank you. All Thank the best. You. Bye, bye. You, bye. Go and see Sphinx all over Malta. Come on, guys, let's have a walk. Mm, a lot of restaurants here. Look. This seems like a, a decent street. So there's restaurants down here as well. What's this one about? Nine craft on draft. Craft beer. I don't know what street this is. Goes all the way down to the sea, look. Some palsy just around here. I'm not sure the street of this one. Well, one done. Moon salad. Turkish Valletta. Look at this one, guys. Sadly, it's all blocked off. Hey, that was just right, that pastizzi. I had a couple of pastizzi and a water. St. Albert's Great College. Oh, that's very plain. We're almost at the bottom now, guys. This is the Baker Street tour. Like a Master Dasha here, I think. Carpenter, I think. Mm, interesting. Ah, lovely. Wow. <laughs> Be careful of these grills, guys. They've been from the night time. Ah, this is an old shop. Right? Ooh. Ooh. That was very steep. This is a household and paint store. Oh, this is one you can go around on city tour. Look, just up on and hop off. Mm. Let's walk out of his way. Marathon shoes. It's mostly the same architecture here. We're going down, it's all like that uh, architecture of the government buildings. They did most of the architecture like this in the... Uh, but like uh, government household buildings. In fact, this might be it. Uh, this might be part of the Ursula Street, I think, coming across this one. Oh, there's a lot of holes in the street here. It's a really hot day today, guys. It's got to be over 40. Uh, Archbishop Street. There's the Archbishop's Palace down there. Archbishop Street. Not sure how far Ursula Street or whether we... I don't think we've passed it. Let's go across there. I want to show you these galleries up from the other side. Look at the wrought iron. I love it. I love that design. Some taken care of and some not. Oh, insurance brokers. That's what you find really, Baker Street. Insurance brokers, advocates, uh, like solicitors, lawyers. Uh, these sort of corporate people as well. Huh? This is an old place here. Very old. Wow, it's like a Mastrodasher as well, I think. One, three, six. No parking. Never mind, eh? It's too hot to come out and give tickets. As a ooh, society of something or other. Up there, there's some embassies as well at the top. Down the other side street, so not uh, on this Baker Street. I forget which ones there were. There's about two or three embassies. Wow, look at this one. This is Palazzo Ka'afa'a. That's a weird name, isn't it? Palazzo Ka'afa'a. Ah, it's disused, look at it. It's dilapidated. It was an old place. If you could only tell this, the history here, guys. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a... It's beautiful. Baker Street. 
It's got quieter now though down here. This is some kind of restaurant, I think. So half of it has been divided off. What a shame, eh? They just leave these places to ruin. And probably they don't even do the ceilings, so the ceilings cave in. Oh, this is oh, that's the first time I've seen something like this. Hey, that's a good idea, guys. Open 24-7. It's a luggage storage, phone and gadget charger, deposit for keys. So you can, you can hire a... This is in Baker Street. You can come and charge your phone if you've got some trouble. Collect stuff. Rent a small room. Yeah, I never, I never heard of that before. That's really good. Oh, there's a lot of prices here. Security insurance, terms of usage. You have to go online, I think, to get the prices. In con contact uh, telephone number. Interesting, though. I wonder if it's, uh, it's a good business, then. Got a little room there. Luggage storage, phone, gadget and charger, deposit key, Wi-Fi and free Wi-Fi. St. Christopher Street. There's that tour bus coming back up again. Hello. <laughs> oh, you get like a, a bit of a tour as well. A bit of a guided tour. Hey, I'm cheaper than them anyway. Stick with Englishmen. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, this is interesting. Oh, we've been that walk before. That's where the... Uh, yeah, that's where the design cluster is. Street. Wow. Yeah, that's Eco Street where the design cluster. Remember there was the Guardian on the top there? We're almost finished, guys. This is a bit more plain design down here. Oh, Bakery Street. St. Dominic Street. Hey, this is very historic here. Yeah. I love these sort of, this column, look at this. From the night. Yeah, this is a lovely party. Eh? Another emblem on the top, a crest. So that was an important building in the past. <coughs> and what's this last street? St. Anne Street. St. Anne Street is very... Wow, look at this one. This is St. Anne Street and we're coming at the end of the line, guys. If this, if I remember rightly, there's a restaurant here of the Jews' Quarter. Oh yeah, here it is, look. Sally Port. Just walk down here near the sea. I'm gonna walk across the road, I think, now. I'm gonna jump in. This is blooming hot. We've got nice uh, tables on the top here. There's a gun tower there. Somebody was asking me about the horses. There's no horses about. 
at this temperature. Uh, there was a few comments about it. But I've, Valletta, I've been walking all around Valletta and there's no horses. This is a cover they have specially for the horses. So if there is hot, there's a shade there, look, pulls across. But there's no horses in sight at all. So they're not in, somebody said they're in 40 degrees heat. They're not allowed to do this. And they are quite clamped down on it. But like everywhere, there's, there's people trying to break the law. But report them, <laughs> phone the police. That's how you get away with it like that, because they're not supposed to. So even if you, I don't know where this guy was commenting from, saying, typical Maltese, there's horses in 40 degree heat. There's a law stating they can't. So if they are, report them. If you go to London and there's a law, they're going to break the law as well, not just Malta. Everybody does that if they can get away with it. If he's, if he's, um, he knows he shouldn't be out with the horse. And he thinks, what the hell, I'll go and make a few bob. I'm going to take any notice. There's going to be no cabbies and I'll be the only one. Report him, eh? phone the police. Forget the thing is uh, 112. They'll soon be out and they'll find him. Everywhere you go in Malta, there's somebody who breaks the law. Everywhere in the world, people break the law. So, it's not just Malta. There's the beautiful sea anyway. Sally Port. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Old Bakery Street tour. Plus a bit of pastizzi. Take care, everybody. See you soon, Englishman in Malta. <laughs> what do you say, guys? He deserves it. What a difference. Sally Port, uh, two euros. Oh, I don't know what he said, two euros something for a chisk in a bottle though. But it's the same seals here. Cash and carry with a nice seat, nice backrest, nice cool beer. 140. 140. So, uh, forget what he said, three. 295 or 3 or something like that. It's hot guys. I wasn't supposed to drink beer in the in the week. It's a month. It's a Saturday, isn't it? Oh look the police. The rosas. There's no way you can drink beer outside. Hey, there's something what I want to tell you about. I'm gonna go over that way. St. Paul's Bay, if you buy a beer like this now, you can't drink it outside. New law. I'm going to, I think I might go and do a video of that. You can't buy it from this takeaway. You've got to save the money, so you're saving what, 150 in some places. Some places asking for three euros. If you go to a bar and you drink it in the bar or on the, on the outside, it's all right. But if you walk and drink with it, it's against the law. And you can be fined a hundred and something, I think something like that. I hope that doesn't spread all over Malta. Anyway, it's nearly finished. Cheers, guys. All the best. Old Bakery Street. Very historic, hey? Bye, guys. Take care. See you next video. One Englishman from Malta And I will show you all the signs So please subscribe to my channel And give me lots of likes